Today, I'm going to be showing you guys all the new things in Update 20 of Block's Fruits. This update is insane. Look at my Dark Blade. The rework moves are actually incredible. First, I'm going to be showing you guys the new fruits in this update. The first new fruit is Rocket. This fruit was recently called Kilo, but since Kilo got heavily reworked, the devs of Block's Fruits changed the name to Rocket. The next fruit that just got introduced in this recent Update 20 was the Sound Fruit. This fruit looks absolutely amazing. Look at the visuals of this first move. It's actually insane. I'm gonna grind a bit to use the first three moves. This second move is absolutely insane. Look at how amazing it looks. I had no idea that they would have added something as amazing as the Sound Fruit with visuals as insane as this. I'm gonna try and unlock the third move before I move on to the next fruit. Time for the third move. Wow! That is even better than the last two moves. How did Block's Fruits make these visuals so perfect? This update is incredible. The next fruit is the Pain Fruit, which was recently called the Paw Fruit. No reworks were added to this fruit, so only the name changed. The last fruit, which was the fruit leaked earlier this year, is the Mammoth Fruit. This is the most expensive fruit out of all the new fruits and it's absolutely insane. Look at this first move. It's incredibly powerful. I only have one move right now, so I'm gonna unlock the next two moves. It's grinding time. Finally, the third move. Let's see how this looks. That's insane. One clean shot with that move in PvPs and the other player literally loses half of their health. Those fruits were insane, but that's not the only thing that Blocks Fruits added. Many new boats were added in Blocks Fruits Update 20. There is the new Miracle Boat that replaced the Enforcer. This miracle boat is insanely cool. After riding the boat for a while, you start to fly in the air. It's insane. There are other boats like the Sentinel Flower and Lantern boats that replace the Rocket, Flower, and Swan boats. These luxury boats are pretty fast and look amazing. I don't have the Lantern boat, but it looks amazing too. The normal boats also got reworked. These four starter boats look way bigger and better than before. Next, let's check the new island called Tiki Outpost. I'm gonna use the Miracle Boat to get there. It's honestly the coolest boat out there and it's the fastest. This is such a good replacement for the Enforcer. The Tiki Outpost is located to the right of the haunted Castle Island. Here's the Tiki Outpost. It looks amazing. There's a weather system in Tiki Outpost which is why it's raining in the island right now. It's such a cool addition. The weather system is also used for the new sea events such as the Raid Boss, the Leviathan, the Mini Boss, the Terror Shark, and more. There are so much things here in the new island. There are new NPCs which offer new ways to get new accessories, enchant your weapons, and more. There are also new enemies here for levels 2450 and above. The first NPC is close to the dock on the other side of the Tiki outpost. If you go here and go through the bars, you'll be able to find the NPC of the developer Shafi, who sells the new Sanguine Art fighting style. To obtain this fighting style, you need a Leviathan Heart, and must be level 2550. If you go to this other part of the island, you'll find the NPC, the Beast Hunter. Here you can craft the new accessories and the new Beast Hunter boat.
Located here is the Shark Hunter NPC. This is another NPC you can use to craft new accessories. This is the NPC you go to get the Monster Magnet item, which can be used to get the Sanguine Art Fighting Style and the new sword, the Shark Anchor. The Shark Anchor is the new legendary sword with short cooldown moves and good for mobility. If you climb up this ladder and go to the top, you'll find the next NPC, the Dragon Talon Sage. This NPC is used to craft and to enchant things. This is where you use the scrolls that were leaked months ago by Kit Gaming. The last NPC is on the top of the main castle. It's the Spy NPC, which gives you information about the new raid boss, the The Leviathan. The Origin button gives you information about the Leviathan's backstory, which is extremely long and doesn't look like it's important. What's important is learning clues about the Leviathan's current location. In order to gain clues about the Leviathan's whereabouts, you must pay 1,500 fragments. It's honestly worth it since the Leviathan is needed for the new fighting style and probably gives you an insane ton of Bali and fragments when defeated. All of the fruit icons were changed and look incredible. The physical fruits look the same though, which is a letdown, but I'm not going to complain because Update 20 has been incredible so far. Blocks Fruits recently added different water danger levels while at sea. There is also a danger meter, which is a tool to detect your safety while out at sea. As you move your boat to far out, the sea gets more dangerous. The One Piece! The One Piece is real! Give me the It's pitch black. What on earth is happening? This is really creepy, but really cool at the same time. Something just attacked me. I'm losing health. I'm gonna die from the sea. That's basically everything from this new update. What do you guys think about the update? Comment down your thoughts about this update in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon. I gotta play this game all day and all night.